Hey, what's going on guys? Steel Cubing here. Today I'm going to be showing you a few cool F2L tricks that may help you improve your times. So, uh, the first case here <clears throat> is where we have a corner already in place, and the respective edge is up here. And the corner would be on the front face, whereas the edge is on the right face. So in, in this scenario, what we would do is R2, U prime, R prime, U, R2, and that would solve it. If, if you want to do this intuitively, here's how it would go. You would look, uh, if this sort of bar right here, you could say, of the cross edge and corner is uh, in the front face, it touches the front face, then when you, you're going to do this R2 to bring it to the top. And if it ends up back here, then you would just move it back one more time, like that. So now it's back here. Um, but let's say it was up here, right? Then you would just go this way, which I'll explain later. It's another case. Um, so you'd move it back. And what you're doing next is bringing up this edge to here. Okay. And then you're going to realign this corner with its edge over here. And you'll see that it's paired up, and then you can just do an R2 to put it in. Alright, so this next case is the exact opposite of the previous case. Uh, Alright, so it's where we have the corner, soft corner, in the back. And that just dealt up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to still start off with an R2 to bring that bar to the top. And since it's in front, we're going to do a U to bring it forward again. Then an R to bring the respective edge up, U prime to pair them, and R2 to insert them. Again, I'll leave all these algorithms in the description. So that's that case. Now one thing to note is that by doing any of these cases, if they're if you're doing one where you have a corner here and an edge here, if you if you have a pair solved in the back, it's not gonna work because it's gonna mess up this pair, which is not something you want. Alright, so the next case is where you have a edge solved instead of a corner and you have a corner right above it but it's flipped and white is on top that might seem like a lot to remember but I just remember that these two are opposites um, so what we're gonna do here is actually really easy so we're, we're just gonna do an R U R prime U prime three times and there it's solved Okay, so uh, for this next tip, um, what we're going to do is uh, look for our next pair. So I see that it's here. And an easy, the easiest way for me to pair them up right now is just to do this. And it's paired. Now, the way to recognize when you can do this is to look at the color facing you, which in this case is red, and the color on top of that respective edge. So um, if they're the same, then you know you can just do this, and it'll be paired. And then it makes for an easy insert. Alright, so uh, this last case here is quite simple. It's where we have um, an edge, that's not solved yet, and a corner, both on the top layer. Now, in this case, we have the corner with white or whatever bottom color you have facing up. So what we're going to do is line up this edge with this respective center, which is blue, so that it lines up like this. And then, since the top is orange, we're going to push the right, we're going to hold uh, the thing we just lined up to the right. We're going to push that away. Since the top is orange, we're going to push it away from orange. And then we're going to take this corner and line it up in the back. And then just bring it back. And now you have a pair ready to insert. Hopefully these tricks helped you guys a little bit. If you like them, if you learned something, be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it would really help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.